Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com with a report for Monday, August 20th, 2018. Free pick in Monday Night Football in just a moment. If you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, give it a try. It's only, uh, all you got to do is click on the link below the video and set yourself up for a free $60 account. I think you'll be glad you did. Also, don't forget, we're now just a handful of days. Five days away from college football kickoff 2018. I am pumped and ready to go. Uh, here's what we've done. I'm very proud of these records online the last few years. Plays that we've posted online where anybody can get them. Uh, college football, 101 and 67, 60% run. NFL, 58% last 300 plus NFL releases, all online. Uh, my teammate and I were teaming up again a couple years ago, had a top 20 finish in the Westgate Super Contest, over 1,400 entries that particular season, and we finished 16th. So anyway, we're going to put all this work together for you, and for the first time ever, we're going to be over at DocSports.com exclusively. So check it out. Check and see if it's for you. We've got discounted packages for college football for the NFL, the upcoming week in NFL preseason play. We're up a couple of units in NFL preseason action thus far. We hit our top play of the entire preseason handily the other night when Green Bay blasted the Pittsburgh Steelers 51-34. to And listen, we got one Major League Baseball play going on Monday. It'll be available after 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. 12-4, 75% winning tickets in baseball in the month of August. And uh, also wanted to mention that, uh, you know, the reason we're doing the Monday Night Football free pick tonight, well, I'll tell you, I looked at that Monday baseball card over and over. First of all, there's only like eight games that are lined right now for Monday as I cut this video. And I think six of them have lines of a buck sixty or higher. Uh, the side that I have going uh, that will be a premium play at Doc Sports on Monday is not a big favorite. Don't even have to worry about that. But, man, just a crappy stinks on ice type of baseball card as far as I'm concerned on Monday. So we'll get to the free Monday night football play in just a minute. Listen, I wanted to mention that coming up in just a few days, we'll have our SEC uh, conference preview that'll wrap up our college football previews that we began way back in early June and uh, all from a Vegas perspective. So you want to check them out if you've yet to do so thus far. And again, the SEC preview will be available later this week. I do want to go all the way back to our very first conference preview and give you a quick over under wins total that we still think is valuable to the side we liked way back in june we previewed the mountain west as we kicked off our video previews and one of the teams we talked about was utah state over under was seven and a half and we said lay the buck 20 over seven and a half we think this team has a great shot at nine wins this season and you know over under total when i'm checking around is still seven and a half and in case you didn't jump on board and start watching these videos until recently, I did want to go back real quickly and say that's still a play for us. Uh, Utah State, I've got them winning uh, nine games, at least eight, at least eight. But i got to be at least a game, game and a half above the wins totals for me to play them. So because I have them winning nine games, it's a situation where I like them over seven and a half. But you look at this team, four bowls in five years under their coach, Matt Wells. They've got 18 returning starters to this football team, nine offense, nine defense. They don't have to play Fresno State or San Diego State. They're not on the schedule this year. Uh, they're outstanding on the ground under this coaching staff, under Wells. Uh, they do have road games at Wyoming and Boise State. They're going to be tough. No doubt about it. Listen, they book in the season with an opener at East Lansing against Michigan State. Not going to win that game in all likelihood. And they close the season at Boise State. And if all goes as we think it will, that's going to be very tough for Utah State for Utah State to win also. So there's two losses, yet we still think this team, with all the games they have in between the two bookends, have a great shot at nine wins for the reasons that we just mentioned. We just wanted to point that out because a lot of people didn't start jumping on board with our new videos until after a couple of those early conference videos were cut. Utah State over seven and a half wins. We might have a couple more over-unders, refreshers from earlier this summer uh, throughout the course of this week and then culminating with the SEC preview at the end of the week. All right, again, uh, Monday night, excuse me, Monday Major League Baseball premium play is available after 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific on Monday. You don't want to miss out. 12-4 and four in the month of August, having a great run, up about $4,000. And uh, we look to kind of finish up uh, the month of August, the last 11 days, the same way we've started it. So be sure to check out that. And, of course, those football uh, discounted packages over at DocSports.com. Free Monday night football. We're going to back the Ravens. Now, the they have gone to a short favorite, and we all know why. Uh, the Ravens, you know, remember they played in the Hall of Fame game against Chicago. 
Uh, they were leading pretty much in covering the whole game. And then at the end there, Chicago was able to come within a point. Chicago got the cover. Guess what? That's been the only time that the Ravens have not covered a preseason game in the last 10. They're 10-0, and 9-1 and against the spread. And I like what they're going to do with the quarterback rotation on Monday. You're going to, of course, see Flacco for a couple of series. And then after that, from what John Harbaugh said, they're going to switch things up at quarterback where we'll see RG3 after Flacco. And then he wants to see Lamar Jackson kind of wrap up this game. So I think the two of those quarterbacks, the backups, whether it be RG3 or Lamar Jackson, who hasn't been great, but he's now in his third game, is going to be able to handle a bit uh, this Indianapolis Colts defense enough to get the win and the cover, which again is about a point, point and a half. Uh, so I look for this to be 11 straight wins for the Baltimore Ravens. It is their third preseason game, and I think they're going to up that spread record to 10-1 and one in those 11 games. Might see a little bit, obviously, we will see a little bit of luck in the Colts' first teamers, but by the time we get to the second and third teamers, I think it's all Baltimore. They game plan pretty well uh, for their depth, not just for their starters uh, in preseason play, and that's why they've won 10 in a row. So our free play, Baltimore Ravens, got to lay about a point, point and a half there, and we think they get the job done on a Monday. All right, let's put Monday in the win column. If you like what you see, you click on the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'll be right back here Tuesday morning, 4 a.m. Eastern, 1 a.m. Pacific with our next report. I'm Scott Spratcher, DocSports.com. Best of luck on Monday.